Hello everyone. Welcome to this next part of our flat file based assignment. I am hopeful that you people have either completed your mini project, mini assignment or you are in the final stages of doing it. If some of you have still not started or initiated, I will suggest that please do it. It is one of the most important step in a developer's programmer's life. Okay. So what let let us go back to the program that I have shown to you. Why I am doing this again, you will come to know very soon. See, this was the program that I had shown to you. Okay. And uh, it, it as you can see it is developed in C and uh, it it displays you certain menu like this add stock, view stock, modify stock, delete stock. Okay, and when you do either press 2 or click on V, it can display you according to what you want to see. And suppose I press 5, it, it, will, it is displaying me all the records of movies that I have in my database. Okay, so this was one idea. I had asked you to develop it in uh, similar either C or C++. That, like this is in C++, this has a class as you can see, but you can develop in C also, you can develop in Python also, Java also, because every language has a flat file option. So what is the benefit of doing such a program? The, the first and the foremost thing is you will have a feel of making a larger program because till now you might have not developed uh, this length of program of 1100 lines. Anyways, so let us, the another purpose of this video is to show you some example that if students have submitted earlier and as I have said that when you, you people will submit and some of you will submit uh, some very good work, I will showcase that also uh, in front of entire class, maybe in front of some other audience also depending upon the work you have done. Let me show you an example that other students have done in the past. Uh, something like this. This was one of the good project that I had seen, uh, which was developed by the student in two days. I had given the similar kind of assignment and that student Raghav developed in a day or two. So this was the program that he developed. As you can see, uh, it has even some password kind of thing. Suppose I type something, so it will not work. When I when I will type correct, it will work. Okay, so you can see uh, it has a 3D kind of look that used to dominate for a very very long time. If some of you might have seen Tally or any other older project, all these projects looked like this only, and you know this there is no graphics used in this program. Okay. So even you can see the date is coming. So an arrow key is working. So and you can see add, view, cell, search, delete. Suppose I go and view and press enter. Stock. So you can see certain uh, cassettes are there. And when I suppose want to sell 3333, three, 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 I will go on the cell ID is 3333 three, 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 and the title whatever has come quantity suppose I type 1 and because there is no quantity so it will not work cost suppose 1 will not work because there is no quantity okay let me see quantity okay 444 will work okay so let us sell that uh, 4444 you can see it has come quantities I want to sell 3 cost the price was 4 I, I want to sell it at 10 and again, when I go in view, the quantity remaining is one. Okay, so this is what this was how a student uh, got enthusiastic, and he developed a very good project of this type based on the idea that I have given. And let us see another example, which is which might be working. We have to see uh, final MU. This is working because some of the projects are currently not working because some graphics issue that I have to resolve but many of them are working let me see this is 
Will this work? Okay, this again has certain errors. Another example, it was working. Huh, yeah, this example is again working. As you can see, this student has developed in a different way. So, uh, and you can see currently there is no record. I suppose I try to add code is 101, name is black. Let us see black category Hindi, singer Sonu Nigam, price maybe something, quantity maybe something. Okay, click on add. Okay, uh, let us go back. View stock, let us do view stock. So uh, you can see one record is coming. Okay. So and modify, delete, whatever is the case, sale transaction is due. So this, these were the two ideas that I want to show you. That what you have to develop again. You can see this program. The student visa told it is around uh, 1,200 lines that I had shown you. My program was around 700. This one is 1,200. And so on and so forth. Okay, so I hope that you people are uh, fully aware that what you have to develop, and we will very soon see in next video that what is the importance of doing this. Now let us see uh, some question on this. Have you created this mini project? Okay, of course you know the answer. Is it a fat file based program? Yes. How many fat files you have used? The question. What does the question tries to uh, get from you is now suppose if you talk about this project so as you can see this project has my my project has a flat file called as September 2019 one file your project might have different number of okay so what I wanted to, to ask from you is how many files have you used it secondly you have developed this program in C C++ Python or Java does it have structure or class? Okay. Which file function have you used? Like in my case, you can see it is file.write, file.read, file.open. Similarly, in program, what you have used? Have you used arrays to manage some kind of data? Now, why I'm asking this question? I will answer it later on, but it is an important question. How many records did you try to enter? Can you uh, or were you able to implement modify search and delete so please while developing or submitting this project uh, please be careful about this and what i want that you submit both the executable file as well as source code okay so i hope this thing is clear to you and now you must be in a position to submit the assignment for which i will share the link where you have to submit and uh, Try to execute it once, twice, thrice in your system. So it should be error free. Okay. And after this project, I will have one to one interaction with you all so that before actually starting with Oracle DBMS practical, uh, you people are trained enough to cope up with the pace. Okay. Thank you very much. See you in next video.